Hola, no, buenos días. ¿Tienes almuerzos? Sí. Sí, perfecto. Bueno, perfecto. So we got lucky. We've got lunch still being served in one of my favorite restaurants in the outskirts of Medellin. We well deserved it. So let's see if we got my tripe soup. Let's see what we have. A nice lady will come and explain to us what we have. Tengo sopita de pollo de menudencias. ¿Y molongo no? Molonguito no, tengo... Sopa de pollo. Sopita de pollo y tengo fibras. Fibras. ¿Y tienes también puro...? Tengo chuleta de cerdo. Entiendo. Tengo carne de cerdo. Tengo carne de res. Perfecto. ¿Carne de res con arroz? Con arroz, ensalada. Sí, carne de res con arroz y antes una sopa de pollo. Una sopa de pollo. Perfecto. Ya. Gracias. Muy bien, muchas gracias. Tengo un poquito de guayaba. Ok, bueno. Ya. So, all of you who, whose Spanish is as bad as mine, I'll try to, but my Spanish, I, disclaimer, I don't speak Spanish. My Spanish is just whatever my head comes up with and what I hear. It's, but we're gonna get a chicken soup, we're gonna get um, kind of a beef uh, steaky thing with rice, and we're gonna get a guayaba house made lemonade, fantastic. What I was hoping for, the tribe soup, is not available today. You have to come here and eat tribe soup. And this is the most amazing location, because we're in the middle of madness, mayhem, outskirts of Medellin, beautiful weather, we've got a barber next door, we've got two million buses, we've got everything you might wish for in Medellin. Oh yeah, we've got daily menu. So we have um, frijol, uh, so we have bean soup, we have chicken soup, and we either have uh, pork or um, uh, beef and with rice and homemade lemonade. That's what you get here and it's gonna be for some I'll tell you but it's gonna be three or four dollars and this is my favorite restaurant of all places in Medellin. Fantastic. And not to wait for too long. They're so nice here and there's some Venezuelan sauces as well as condiment. So we've got a guacamole sauce. We, we um, I always go for spicy so they, they brought me an extra spicy homemade uh, sauce. We've got chicken soup, we've got beef, rice, we've got this which is an arepa, which is a mini arepa. It's kind of a this is the Colombian thing, you get a wrapper with everything you have. And we have a guayabe homemade um, juice in this beautiful uh, August scenery. Amazing. This is a have to go place. This should be on TripAdvisor. This should, you know, this should be the place to go in Medellin because it has the most um, atmosphere, at least for me. Have a good one. Enjoy your meal wherever you are. I will. Sorry guys, I have to do another one. I'm a food guy, I love food. This is, this stuff is so brutally honest. This is a brutally honest chicken soup. You know, if you like fancy stuff, you know, only your chicken breast and bloody dumb, don't eat this. This is brutally honest, meat, chicken heart, chicken neck. And it is so good, it is so rich, it's all homemade, it's like, obviously. And this stuff is so good, it's so rich in flavor. It's amazing. That should be on TripAdvisor. If you like your Ladi Dar food, don't come here. If you like brutally honest Colombian food in a Colombian setting, come here. Food was amazing. It was simple. It was simple. No Ladi Dar. It was full of flavors. I actually loved it. Fue perfecto, muchas gracias. A mí me gusta esta comida, sencilla, normal. En la ciudad, cada cocinero piensa que somos todos artistas, ¿no? Todo muy complicado. No, a mí me gusta esta comida, sencilla, honesta, normal, muy bonita. ¿Cuándo vale? 11. ¿11? Sí. Tengo este 10 y 11, 11. ¿Cómo se llama este restaurante? ¿Cómo se llama este restaurante? ¿Cómo se llama este restaurante? Ah, ¿cómo? Los chamos. Los chamos. ¿Es una, ¿Es una comida venezolana? No, es colombiana, pero son venezolanos. Ah, me gusta. Estamos aprendiendo colombiana. Yo, yo dice que me gusta mucho la, esta comida sencilla, normal, buena, bonita. Sí, buenas gracias. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias, muchas gracias. Muchas gracias a usted. Buen día. Gracias. Chao. Chao. People are super nice. I just said I love this. Uh, I love this uh, normal, honest food. Uh, these days, everyone's an artist. You know, uh, every chef is an artist, and they do this lardy da nonsense. You know, you'll probably chew on this steak a little bit. To be honest, you'll chew in the steak a lot, and it's thin. 
is like chewing on the sole of a shoe but you know what it's full of flavor and that's the thing if you come to Colombia take things the way they are don't come here with your accept uh, expectations you know it has to be like this or like that the steak has to be you know perfect medium whatever yeah go to a ladida restaurant for that but if you want to have flavor amazing you know madness around you come to Colombia and take the meat and take the food and take everything you see here the way it is and just be happy about the way it is and if you do that you'll be rewarded by, by this by this beautiful madness and honestly I love the food it's just so full of flavor but you're gonna chew on it and I had three chicken necks in my one plate of chicken soup uh, don't stumble across these things watch out for the motorcycles watch out for the buses uh, whatever just watch out it's madness and you haven't been here in the evenings that's way crazier so there is a bus back there reversing uh, no there's like two buses one's reversing for unknown reasons probably is trying to get up and then he was surprised that other buses tried to get down and whatever it's beautiful it's Medellin madness we're gonna go down, we're gonna um, follow the cable car line, we're gonna go beneath the cable car line and we're gonna walk all the way to the city centre in, in this beautiful madness. We're at the, we're at the 13 de novembre, novembre kind of barrio. It's not the Comuna 13, Comunidad 13, that's another one, that's where all the tourists go. No, we're on the other side. So, uh, this, this bus is backing up and this bus is coming next and this guy is responsible for all the madness here ah. hola ah. perfecto ah. si sí. ah. so this guy this guy is responsible for the madness i'm trying not to slip and down we go Since we're running out of time a little bit, uh, for the last bit we're going to take the cable car. There are six lines, they're all amazing, beautiful, new, shiny, clean, operated very professionally. And we're just going to glide above the rooftops of the, of the buildings here and hope you enjoyed it. Um, the thing is, I just wanted to show that Medellin is so much more than, than what people think it is. It is beautiful, it's full of amazing people. Um, amazing places and full of energy you have to be here you have to feel it you have to walk it you have to eat it you have to enjoy it that's it So guys hello everyone that's a disclaimer now um you're gonna see a video from a guy who loves colombia i don't speak any spanish i do like but what's coming out of my mouth is not spanish it's just what i think is spanish and uh i just want to share my love and my 
my happiness that I have whilst being in Colombia. Um, this is an amazing country, it's amazing people, and especially the city of Medellin is amazing. And I want to share stuff that probably most people who go to Medellin don't really do. It's just hiking and just experiencing the people. Just, um, I don't know, having a coffee, having good food in some um, random restaurant with amazingly nice people. Colombians, Venezuelans, a lot of Venezuelans here. And let's forget a little bit about these drugs and crazy and blah, crime and everyone's killing everyone. You know what? Don't come here um, to just indulge in these things. You just sit at home and watch Netflix. But if you come to Colombia, appreciate that it is beautiful, that actually finally people have some peace in Medellin and life goes on. There is children, families, dogs, happiness. There's some problems, obviously. But just enjoy the atmosphere, just enjoy the, the richness of Antioquia, the lush um, nature, the, the atmosphere that Colombia, just, just let Colombia make you happy. And because I'm so happy here and I'm enjoying all the little things, I'm enjoying the people, I'm enjoying the food, I'm enjoying walking around, I'm enjoying the madness around me on a busy calle. And uh, I just wanted to share that. So. Don't be a tourist and look for the, uh, you know, secret hidden uh, drug dens of uh, this, you know, I don't even want to say his name. Come on, we moved on. It's beautiful. People are free. It's, it's safe. It's kind of safe. I wouldn't say London is much safer at night than this place. So just enjoy. Be happy. I'm sharing my happiness in Medellin. Uh, don't judge my Spanish. Don't judge my camera skills. I literally just want to share my happiness in Colombia. That's all this video is about. That's a tram line. Yes, Medellin has a tram line. Medellin has two metro lines. Medellin has six cable car lines. It's an amazing place. You're a travel expert. Thanks for watching. That was your travel expert from Medellin, Colombia. Um, hoping to have shown you a Medellin that is different than what you think or what you might think from, you know, all the cliche movies and, and series. Um, yes, you might get robbed, but I actually got robbed last year in Bucaramanga. So whatever, you know, just um, they say here, non dar papaya, which means don't give your papaya, which means just don't walk around with your headphones and your iPhone if you want to have one. Don't do that on the street at night because obviously there are some people who would also like to have an iPhone. So, but as, unless you do that, it's, it's no, it's fine. Um, it's good. It's as any other big city in the world and there are millions of things to do and if you do these normal things let's say go hiking let's say go to the you know obviously maybe ask the people what do you think is it safe to walk here and obviously there are some you know areas like in every other city that aren't that safe but you know if you use common sense and you have this kind of 360 degree view around you uh, around yourself you'll be fine and if you just take colombia just give colombia a chance to just amaze you it did it with me and um, i met so many people who have the same problem like me once you come to colombia you're like oh colombia you can't get it you're like colombia and i thought you know what the heck when i like you know colombia they're all proud of their flag and they get i get it now i'm here i get it and i can't actually explain it to you it's kind of something in the air it's the atmosphere whatever it is you know i've traveled very beautiful countries you know with you know monuments and scenery and lands i don't know colombia is Colombia and Medellin is Medellin and you have to be here give it a chance walk around and you know get to know the people get to know the places hola hola buen dia people are super nice super friendly